Well, it has been a heartbreaking and emotional day for so many people across the mid-state and Kentucky, Henry. But I guess the good news here is at least the storms have moved out. The worst is behind us. The worst is behind us, and it, it was one of those nighttime events, too. You can't stand those events, but we tell people, you know, have multiple ways to, ways to get warnings. You guys last night, you said tornado sirens went off, your phone went off. Yep. And you got to pay attention when you see those warnings. Right after that. Yeah. So uh, much quieter, though. That is certainly some good news, folks. Now, the quiet weather sticks around for a couple days before rain chances come back in, but cooler temperatures have moved in. While we don't have severe weather in the forecast tonight, not a bad idea to remind you about our free Storm Shield app. If you didn't download it last night, it's just one of many tools that you can use to stay prepared in the ever changing weather of Middle Tennessee and Southern Kentucky. You know, looking at the wind map, this thing was really gusting yesterday and just picking up. This time yesterday, we were watching winds increase. Now it is relatively calm out there. We're not looking at much in the way of gust, but we saw a lot in the way of storm reports, not just the uh, storm that hit Graves County in the Mayfield area. But we also saw in southern parts of Christian County, uh, northern parts of Stewart County as well, and over in Henry County, some tornado reports, straight line wind damage in many locations. You could see it stretching all the way back towards Weekly County, going into parts of Obion and Gibson counties in West Tennessee and all the way into Arkansas. And we widen the view. Let me just step off screen for a second. That's a lot of clutter there on the map between wind damage, some hail reports and tornado reports. And I want to also note this track right here is the tornado that hit Mayfield. This track right here is the tornado that ended up going into Bowling Green. So they were two separate tornadoes, still part of the same system, but it was two separate tornadoes that we were tracking last night. One that hit Mayfield, then the one that eventually made its way into Bowling Green. Look at this 40s out there right now, much quieter 38 over in Crossville. As we go through the night on exact track, our sky continues to clear for those that still have a few of those stubborn clouds around. We take you into tomorrow morning and it's going to be a chilly start. So if you're tailgating for the Titans game, playing the Jaguars tomorrow, uh, it will be a cold one out there. Uh, temperatures getting to around seasonal for that kickoff at noon. And then we'll see temperatures around 50 degrees or so by the third quarter and look for a clear sky and chilly temperatures heading into tomorrow night and then going into late tomorrow night, another cold but clear sky on tap. So quieter weather, mostly clear as those clouds push out. Northwest wind 5 to 10, so it's a lot calmer as well. 30 will be our overnight low temperature. For your Sunday, 52 degrees. Uh, we'll have a good deal of sunshine like we've been talking about. But again, Titans fans, we are taking on the Jaguars. Chilly for you tailgaters, I think at Nissan Stadium, 38. We'll be at about 48 uh, for kickoff in low 50s in the afternoon and look for temperatures to drop to about uh, 33 or so Sunday night. Then Monday 61. We've got 60s for a good chunk of the upcoming week. Rain chances are going to inch back in, though, as we head towards next Thursday. Right now, these look to be just rain across the area, a much calmer pattern, giving us a little bit of a break heading towards next week in Emily. That is a welcome side, Henry. Thank you.